Hi, my name is Cy Porter, and this is a media arts tutorial on how to set up a USB mic for recording in Premiere Pro. And um, if you have any other multimedia art questions, please leave a comment. Also, I make these tutorials to get the word out about my animation work at solomation.com. So, setting up a USB mic in Premiere Pro. First, what you can do is go to the control panel, and then you can go... Okay, after you plug in the U USB mic, if you, if you plug it in for the first time, it might take a second for the drivers to load. And then what you can do is you can go into the control panel, and then you can click on sound, and then you can go into recording, and you should see your USB mic here. And then you can click on it and go into properties. And this is where you can set the levels. Right now I'm, I've got my level up at 100, but I, I'll probably turn it down a little <clears throat> pretty soon and so in the future if you ever want to change the levels this is where you can go for your USB mic and also in properties you can go into advanced and I have it set up for one channel 44 100 Hertz and another good setting is for the 480 100 Hertz one channel 16 bit either one is good and also make sure that these two boxes are clicked here the allow applications to take control and and give exclusive mode applications priority and that way Premiere will be able to get use the mic so we can close down the control panel. So next, what you want to do is go to edit and go to preferences and go to audio hardware setup. And in here, make sure that the Premiere Pro WDM sound is selected and then click on ASIO settings and you want to make sure that your microphone in the enable devices you want to make sure that your microphone is checked and click OK now here's the part that always kind of uh, uh, confused me before so you want to find a track that you want to record on and there's a number of things that you need to do just right or it won't work so you can go ahead in the track I'm using track 4 you can go ahead and in a drop down box here under the track name make sure that touch is selected and another helpful thing is that you see if you go up here to the menu options for this uh, window here you can meter inputs only you can have that and that way you can make sure that Premiere is even hooked up to the mic or not see I've got this selected because otherwise you can't really tell if if the mic is hooked up but if you select this up here you can start to see the levels so that you know that you're you know at, le at least have the fir the first gate open and then what you want to do is you okay so that needs to be uh, selected to, to touch and then you want to um, click on the little mic icon here under the track and then you can in the drop down box that appears above you can select the microphone your USB microphone <clears throat> and then if that isn't enough you click on the record button down here and that is going to start blinking and you want to make sure that your um, your hairline selector down here is on the part of the track where you want to start recording. Okay, 
The one simple thing that has really uh, stumped me before, then when you're ready to record, you want to hit the play button, but not the play button for the main window here. You don't, that one won't record. You need to hit the play button here in the mixer window. That's the only, that's the only way you're going to be able to record. So when you're ready to record, hit that. And as you, you can, I'm, I'm recording now. And then you hit stop when you're done, and then a new recording should appear in your projects window and in your track. And that's it. I hope that was helpful, and have a good day. Thank you for watching this tutorial. It's made so that more people can be told about an illustrated film. Episodes of the film are posted at solomation.com. All episodes will be free, available to watch at solomation.com.